morning. Oh, it's so good to have you back with us. It's time for our phone in now with Sharon Osborne. Oh, I'm She's excited. our death <laughs> agony auntie. It's so lovely to have you. Let's get straight to the callers, Sharon. We've got Hello. loads for you. Rachel, good morning. Hi, Rachel. Hi, guys. How are hey, you? Hey, Rachel. Oh, How's it good? going? Thank you. Rachel, you have called the right show today. You look really your have. Question. Ta ask, ask auntie Sharon everything you want to ask. Okay, first off, Sharon, I love you. You're amazing. You're an icon. Keep doing Bless what you're doing. You. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> um, well, my question is, I have been dating this guy for about five months. We met online, um, and we became official last week. Um, Congrats. But there are a few red flags. Um, so he's a bit of a rock star. Um, he's in a band, and it's gaining, like, a little bit of traction. Oh. Um, and uh, there's a few things that have happened that I would love to know your opinion on. So... For example, like loads of girls follow him on Instagram. So I've seen that he started to be like following them back. Um, that's number one. Number two is that sometimes, like I know he's on tour, but he's out all night. Yeah. And then he won't message me. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of lame. And well, yeah, what do you think, Sharon? How old is he? So he's 31. Okay. Ooh. Uh, listen, it comes, unfortunately, <laughs> it comes with the territory. You've got to understand what you're taking on. And, um, listen, it's, um, you can never change him. You so know, I can't you think, him. no, a lot of times people think, oh, I can, I can change them, I yeah. can tame them if they're with me, you know, it's all going to be fine. And if they'll learn to come home, you know, he'll be like a normal bloke. No. It, he won't, but he, you know, if you are into him that much, stick in there. But well, don't he's even written a song it. saying so, how much he loves me, <gasps> but he's never performed it live. Because so, it's I don't know, personal do you think I'm to just you. It's Rachel's song. Yeah. It's your Ooh. song. I know it's called Blue Eyed Gemini and everything. It's like oh. he said he loves me in it. That's you know, romantic. I mean, yeah. That's hot, right? Right. Yeah, that's so super hot. <laughs> definitely, definitely. The only thing is, like, there's not one person in the world that cannot text you. Like, everyone has the time to send you a text. The fact that he doesn't text you all day, I don't like that. Rachel, what do you need from that? Do you want him... Like, what would you be happy with? Because it's obviously, like, he works <laughs> evenings, he's out all night, you know, he comes off stage... Yeah, but he can text, to... baby. Right, things so I just are going... want to find out what the expectation well, is. Yeah. What's, what do you... What do you want? I just want him to want me like I want him, you know? I just want him to chase me and be obsessed with me. And you know what? Is that too much to ask for? No. No, but you can't make yourself solely um, there for him. You've got to live your life too. And if it's too easy, they like the chase. Yeah. Rach, don't text Sad. him for a couple of days. See how he likes that. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, la, la. Exactly. Oh, Thanks, Rachel. Okay. Good Listen, luck, man, Rachel. This was serendipity calling Sharon to imagine it's amazing. like Deirdre was here. She's, She's great. Dating She's a rock like star. rock star. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Uh, let's go to Catherine next. Um, in North Yorkshire. Hi, Catherine. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Hello, Catherine. everybody. How's Good it going? Morning. Hi, Karen. Hi. Love what... your podcast, by the way. Thank you. Right. What would you like to ask Mrs. O, uh, Catherine? Um, what's your best advice on moving abroad? We have a 10-year-old child. Should we wait, go now or wait till he's older? Right. Oh, listen, there's, there's nothing like travelling with a child and living in different places. A lot of people think, oh, it breeds insecurity. But I, for me, I think it breeds wisdom. And it's exciting. And it's, you know, there's, there's nothing better than living your life, you know, full speed ahead. Take your child, move your family, experience it. You can always come back. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because you have so much experience of that with the kids move, you know, you yeah. going around different I'm, countries I and would, cities and so forth. I always used to say, you know, the best education is to live your life yeah. to the full. Travel, see different cultures, different people, the way people live from country to country. It's the best education. And I think 10, aged, is your child aged 10? That's a good age yes. to travel. Yeah, I think that's it a good is. Age, age to blend with different yeah. children, to learn different languages. I think you'll be fine. Yeah. 
How Go for it. Go for it. It is Go exciting. For it, Absolutely. We only have one Thank life. Thank you. One life, Thank you. Good Thank luck. you. You're so right, by the way. Ten. Because you remember all those. Yeah, of course yeah. you do. I know. And so it has such a big impression of yeah. 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 ten. Uh, Wayne's on the line in Manchester. Morning, Wayne. Hey, Wayne. Hello, everyone. Oh. Good morning. Hey, Wayne. What would Mine you like to ask is... Auntie Sharon? Hiya, Sharon. It was lovely to speak to you. Thank you. You too. Yeah. How's Ozzy? <laughs> He's doing OK, thank you very oh, much. I can't believe this. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> well, um, I do need a bit of advice from you. Go on. I'm 52 and I've been on my own for 25 years. Go on. Are you looking for a partner? <laughs> them to be laughing now. No, we're not, uh, we're well, not we're I laughing. Well, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You, you just think haven't you're doing found that? the right person. No. But as Derma just said to Rachel, what what are you looking for? What are you expecting? Uh, are you right looking, person. You're looking for that one love of your life. Yes, yeah, it's your partner in a way. Not it's, it's not too much, but because that's why I've been on my own because I don't like too much in a relationship. I've not had a relationship, you see. So basically, Wayne, like you've been single for twenty-five years, so you need that you need that confidence booster, right? And a good deal with that, yeah. Right. So how does he find that inner confidence? Do you think, Mrs. O? Well, the thing is, where do you go on dating sites? Do you go out with your mates, or are you somebody that likes to stay home? Well, I'm sorry, to, I've lost my best friend. I lost my brother, so I've been oh, on my, right. I've been on my own for like years. Yeah. Oh, you should you should go on some dating dating you sites. Think so? Yeah, absolutely. What have you got to lose? Nothing. You know, if if you you know find somebody that you you know you think I'd I'd really like this person, we could get on. Meet him for a coffee, a cup of tea in the morning. Yeah. Also, maybe maybe some a hobby. Do you, um, yeah. do you go? Do you like choir or do you like a walking group or a running group or something? Go to a the walking things well, like that. Anything, just well, maybe social do... cafe. Yeah. Or anything. Yeah. Maybe you should join a, like a walking group, and then you might meet people, become friends, and then you don't know where it's going to go from there, do you? Yeah, you've got to put yourself out there because if you spend a lot of time on your own in your house, you know what? Time goes so yeah. quickly, and before you know where you are, you're in another year. So you've got to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Go for well, it. My daughter is telling me that. My daughter, I've got a daughter, 21. She said. You're living under a rock. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to get out. Put yourself out there. Don't be afraid. Come on, Wayne. Good luck, Wayne. Good luck. Get out there, Wayne. Uh, OK, Emma, thanks, Wayne. Emma's emailed in, how do I shake off insecurity in my relationship? I find myself um, often questioning whether or not I'm good enough for my partner. Oh, man. And whether or not he loves me. It's silly because we've got a great relationship and I know that he does. But since my first marriage not working out, I've been left with some self-doubt. Does Sharon have any tips to help me shake off this insecurity? Yeah, why, why do you doubt yourself so much? Oh, sorry, she's, she's not just on the phone. Not... We just read yeah, that but to why... you. Just, this is Emma. So she's probably it's, listening right there's now. There's got to, Emma, there's got to be something within you, within your soul, of why you doubt yourself and why would you say, am I good enough for him? That, of course you are. Of course you are. He loves you for a reason, right? Yeah. And Maybe so, she needs to make herself proud, doesn't she? You've she got to love yourself. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. You've got to love yourself. And you know what? I'm sure you're a really good person. And so... Don't doubt yourself. Don't waste your life doubting. Live it. And I'm sure, you know, he does love you. And so let that all go because you're ruining a, a relationship by doubting yourself. Yeah. Oh, I love How you, Mrs this? O. How good is she? Hey? You're amazing. You're the best, Mrs O. We love you. Thank Thanks. you for the advice. Thanks for coming. Great and to thank see you. you and good luck with the podcast. Yeah. Mm, Thanks, thank Mrs. you. O. Thank you. A uh, new episode of The Osbournes uh, airs every Tuesday wherever you get those podcasts. Thanks, Sharon. Competition time.